I said, I noticed when you Terry got her new lens thing, you kind of like that. So what was thought, it? You know, lens, lens for, for a camera. camera. Oh yeah, yeah. That. And I thought, well, heck, I found a lens. I couldn't afford one that her had, but I thought this one would be uh, better for you. Thanks, y'all. But it's not what the box is not what it is. It you is. have to open it. You have to oh. open it. I thought it was a security light. No. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on our rig. Ow. What is that? <laughs> it's all I could afford. What is that. it? I know it's not because it's too light to be a light. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's a cup for you. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. That's awesome. If you don't like it, you can play it no. on somebody else. You I can like play that. the joke I was like, on somebody else. Oh, no, because I felt it. I was like, that's not Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> that gives it away the yes, minute you pick cool. it up. Yeah, you're supposed to screw it up, oh, push it down. Nice. Oh, is it a You're wrecking it. Yeah, it's a cup. Yeah, and then you can tighten it on. Where'd you oh, we found it at a swap <laughs> meet over in Ehrenberg. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Kind of cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. They're having their first meeting here at the campsite cleanup party. So we're just going to go find out um, a little bit of what's going on. Bring something to smoke, okay? <laughs> Turkey, ham. Hi, I'm Seth. Hi, Seth. <laughs> so we we have this dumpster coming in the 24th tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna hold off a little bit through Christmas and just settle yourselves in. Go ahead and meet each other. Enjoy your Christmas. We're gonna have some fun. And uh, on the 26th is when we're really gonna start seriously cleaning up. There is a bunch of really big stuff. A prime example is right over there. Yeah. Um, we have. <laughs> Somebody's not going off road. Um, we have a bunch of really big stuff, which is very obvious. We have four of those, we have three cars, and we have three boats, uh, one of which is in the river. We're going to try and get them all. Um, that stuff is going to be specialty stuff. So if any of you are feeling super motivated, uh, come on into the tent and we have a list. Uh, and I will grab you. We're going to be doing this in teams because a lot of these are going to require heavy tools, generators, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but for the majority of you, I would just like you to encourage you to walk around your campsites and be mindful of the area because in this dirt, it's not all rocks. There are a lot of, there's glass, there are nails, there are bottle caps. You will be astounded what you will find in one of these washes. That hurts people, that's the stuff you trip on at night. Um, Aja gave a wonderful example in my welcome video on YouTube of uh, dan just dangerous things that can be around campfires. So we, we have bags and the general plan is to give you guys some bags and gloves and encourage you to just walk around your campsites when you're having your coffee in the morning. Oh, there's something, let me throw it in the trash bag. When you fill up the trash bag, throw it by the side of the road and we're gonna have guys in trucks come pick it up, uh, just like waste management does. And we're gonna throw it in the dumpster. We're not gonna have big piles of trash. That's, that's why I'm asking to wait until the dumpster gets here. If there is one rule, Pack it in, pack it out, please. That does not change. If we are throwing our trash in the dumpster, we're, we're going to end up filling right. it up. With our yes. Okay, no empty bowls or pans left on, after the potluck. Um, we are going to pass a jug around for donations. We actually have two. This is the part everybody hates when you ask for money. If you got anything now, that's great. If these guys don't need any money, you can go shopping right out there for stuff. One nice thing, any donations we get right now, we're also going to have a head count tonight, so if I know that we don't have enough for lunch tomorrow, we can run in early in the morning and get some more stuff to bring back so we have enough lunch. So any donations now would help, but then the next one, bring at least, you know, pocket change, a dollar. It doesn't matter. It, look at how many people. That one dollar would add up. That dumpster is oh, Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, if you can do more than a dollar, but even if all you can do is a dollar, thumbs up to all of y'all. Oh, she's. Oh, yeah. By the way, freecampsites.net has already spent a thousand. That's before the dumpster. So, yeah, they're in. Oh, including it. Uh, my mistake. Yeah. So that's including the dumpster. So they've already got like, a chunk of change. So any help you can get, that would be great. Um, 
What time is the pot up? Wait, I'm, you took it to work. Right 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 Breakfast tomorrow is at 8 o'clock. Lunch is at noon. Easy to remember. Oh, Arizona time, by the way. Okay, yeah, we're too we're close. part of Arizona. And the potluck will be at 5 p.m. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. If you're bringing food, please, if you want your bowl or container back, it's always good to put a name on it. And if you can bring the serving utensil, spatula, tongs, spoon, whatever, that would be a huge help if you guys could do that too, okay? Um, we've got a couple people that are going to talk to you. Dave is going to talk to you about making Arizona green again and microcleaning. Okay. Hollis is going to talk to you about harm reduction. Then we've got Lainey and Rico are going to talk to you about Christmas carols and the music. And Tile is going to wrap everything up with a fire tonight. So let's get going for Dave. Up, that's what's going on in this kind of an area, in the washes, everything that you can do that's not involved with what Seth's doing, the big stuff. Steel, these nails. So one of the things you want to do is think smart about this. Carry a Band-Aid or two with you. Know where your first aid kit is, just in case you hit something that you, oh man, I cut myself real good. Think about that just a little bit. In the overall of how important this is, I've got a uh, coffee can sitting over here of stuff that I picked up at the LTVA, one of our clean sites. <clears throat> and I'm going to dump that out over there and you can see what I picked up in an area that's not near as big as this whole wash in about three or four days, and you'll be surprised at what you find in this ground. You find a little small piece of wire, you look down, you see a piece of wire. You might find a nut and bolt, a fuse holder, somebody was doing a, some repair, and it's just kind of spread out around. You find one piece of glass, and the way you look for glass that you can't see is you'll see something shiny. There's glass there, and if you got one piece of glass, you got a bunch. It might not be really visible right off, but those kind of things you want to pay attention to. Uh, nails, you find one nail, you're going to find 50. In our fireplaces and pits, you're going to find lots of nails and um, tin and stuff like that. Those are the things we're looking for. So you start, draw a circle around your little campsite, about 50 foot radius, and just start there and walk around and look what's there. As I've been cleaning up around here, stuff comes to the surface as you walk on it. I'll walk over the same area for the next day and there's four more pieces of wire and a nail and a piece of glass that's floating up the surface because we're kind of moving the stuff around. So it's kind of a continuous thing. And then the next day, go a little bit more, a little bit more, head for some of these washes and start going in, there's a lot of stuff that gets caught in the shrubs around here that you don't see until you walk up to it. One of the big things you want to watch out for, these uh, are plastic uh, drinking bottles and Coke bottles. They get stuck in that kind of environment and after two years you touch them and they just shatter really easily and if you go in and try to get one, you might have like an easy pick of a bottle that turned out to be 10 minutes of 15 pieces. Each one wants to get to be smaller pieces. Um, get recyclables through Recycling Center, but it also get the money back from the California recycling stuff, okay? So any and any of that that you have, if you have a beer can, don't crush it flat, okay? Because then they can't read the recycling thing, or maybe it's on the top. Anyway, you can crush it, but you don't have to crush it flat. Um, and then they'll take it and they'll redeem it and it'll be donated back to the event. I would like to encourage anybody who plays a guitar, mandolin, flute, whatever. Come and join the fire. Uh, we'll do it every night. Yep. Uh, open jam, pretty much. <coughs> and that's all we have to say. No, that's not all we have to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have to say. <laughs> you know me, I never shut up. <laughs> okay, so, we, uh, the time of year that it is, we, uh, we've been talking to Seth, and we want to do Christmas caroling. So anybody who wants to Christmas carol, I don't care if you can sing or can't sing, um, we're going to get together on Christmas Eve, which is tomorrow, 
and uh, we're going to Christmas Carol. I am not printing out lyrics, so if you want to just sing Christmas, 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 not to everything. Okay. And we can do baby yeah. cold outside, but we're we're just we're not going to go far because. You know, I can't walk very far, but we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to do it around the campfire. And also to the rigs that are close by. We'll go and Christmas here. Anybody who wants to do that. And um, also, I have rewritten the 12 Days of Christmas. It is called The Nomad's 12 Days of Christmas. And I have typed up those lyrics, and we will have those lyrics available and we will be doing that around the campfire tomorrow night. It's hilarious, trust me. So we're going to do that tomorrow night around the fire. And then also every night around the fire, if you're a musician, singer, whatever, come join us. We would love to have a lot more people doing music than just us. Mary's got her camp set up, and I have my camp set up, all lit up. The sun is going down. Look at that sunset over there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just beautiful. Got my pandemonium sign right there. <laughs> Looks good. We picked up some of these butterflies that glow in the dark. They're solar and they're fiber optic. So beautiful. I've got these solar lights. They're the dollar solar lights, but I bought these poles from Home Depot. They're $1.99. So that way they're up high and not tripping over them. This is what they usually look like. They're short. I put these by the RV, but the ones out here. I know people would trip over them, so that's why I wanted them up high. It's looking festive. I love it. <laughs> Teresa got me this cute panda light that changes. It runs off a of USB power, so I can hook it to any battery pack. I've had these solar lanterns for a while, but I rarely use them. I'm glad I'm finally getting some use out of them. So as they said earlier in the video, we are just going to hang out, get to know one another. I'm actually going to go out by the fire and relax, listen to some music and have some conversation. I've got my down jacket on because as you might know, in the desert, it is nice and beautiful during the day, but at night it does get chilly. So I am prepared. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and see you next time. Bye for now. Love y'all out there.